Hi again. In this video, uh, we'll be finishing the, the lesson we had started with uh, reviewing the sounds for each of these letters and how to pronounce them. And here I have written uh, examples for each of these sounds and phonetics that I'm, I'm teaching you. So, we've seen all these cases in the previous videos, the, the R's, the L's, the G's, the Q's. Let's, let's read them, let's say the, the letters in Spanish. R, L, G, Q. And uh, for the Y, W, I'll give you examples after I show you these. So, we said for letter R, we have the, the rough sound, R, as for Rio, Rio is river. Rio has the rough sound because the R, R, is at the beginning of the word, Rio. However, if the R is in the middle of the word, and is not doubled, it's a, a smoother sound. Aro. R, R. You see? It's smoother. Aro. This means ring. Ardilla. Or ardilla. Ardilla. Ardilla means squirrel. You can see R. It's a smoother sound. Ardilla. It's not ar. It's ardilla. Now, when the R is doubled in the middle of a, of a word, it's the same rough sound as the R at the beginning of the word. So, this would be arreglar. Arreglar. A -r -e -g -l -a -r. Arreglar. Arreglar means to fix. It's a verb. L is uh, when the L is uh, single, just one L, it's as in English. Levantar, to lift. Levantar, levantar, to lift something, yeah? Double L, the sound changes. Uh, no matter if it's at the beginning of a word or in the middle. Double L has a sound G, G, right? Like Gyuvia. G, G, U, V, I, A. Gyuvia. Calle. Calle. Gyuvia means rain. Calle means street. Letter G. Letter G has many cases. That's why I've written four rows of G's. For G followed by A, O, and U, it's the hard sound. Ga, go, gu, g. Yes? As in gas. Gas. That's gas, you know. Gorro. G -o -r -o. G-O-R-R-O. This is a cap. A cap. Agujero. A -g -u -h -e -r -o. Agujero. That's hole. A hole. Now, when the G is followed by letter E or letter I in Spanish, it's letra E or letra I, right? Like in gente, you see it's a different sound of G. It's <laughs> gente, that means people. 
Gitano. 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 This means gypsy. Now, when the G is followed by U, I, or U, E, the U is muted, but the G acquires the harder sound for I and E, right? For example, we have said that this would be he. However, if we add a letter U in the middle, it would be gi. Same with E, right? We said this is red he. he. However, if we add a U in the middle, it is ge. Ge. So, I haven't, now I haven't found an example for ge, but uh, we have uh, for the G U I, we, ha we have the word guisado, that is a stew to eat, a stew. Guisado, guisado. Now there is a very uh, funny case with letter G. What if you want to pronounce uh, G U I or G U E, but you don't want the U to be muted? You want to you want to pronounce it really, right? You cannot write it just like this. Because here, the U is muted according to the rules of Spanish language, yes? This would be GE. GE. What happens if you want to read GUE? GUE. How do you do that? GUE. You use these two dots that in Spanish are called dieresis. Although, don't worry to remember the name. These two dots here uh, say that this U is going to be pronounced even if it's followed by an E or an I. So, this now is GUE. This would be GUI. Okay, I haven't come with come up with any example for gui, but for gui, there is uh, the example pinguino, penguin. Yes, i n g u i n o, pinguino, pinguino. This is a penguin. Okay. Now, for letter Q, letra Q, letra. Cool. We have Q is always uh, used followed by U, E, or U, I. There are no other cases of letter Q. So here is an example for both uses of letter Q. Uh, I will spell this in Spanish. Q, U, E. Q, U, I, E, N. -E. So, here it says K. K means what? Here it says Kien. Kien. Kien means who? You can see that the U is muted. You don't read this que. You read this que.